Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to do this super simple cross hatch painting technique using chalk paint. This painting technique will work with any paint colors. I just recommend picking a lighter and a darker paint color and then maybe one or two accent colors. So for this example, I used gold as an accent color. Start by painting the entire piece of decor or furniture with one layer of either color of your chalk paint. Use a high quality nylon paintbrush or a, a paintbrush that is made for chalk paint to apply a nice smooth even layer of that chalk paint. After that first coat of chalk paint has been applied, it's time to switch to a chippy paintbrush or a chip brush. I'll put a link to these items and a little bit of the notes in the description of this video in case you're getting confused. That chippy paintbrush is great for doing a dry painting technique that lets you get that cross hatch look that you want. Dry brushing is when you just get a little bit of paint on the end of that chippy paintbrush and then you lightly drag it across the furniture or the decor that you're painting. That chippy paintbrush has thick bristles that aren't even. So when you dry brush paint with that type of paintbrush, you're able to get nice d defined lines as long as your paint colors aren't too similar. You can see here the nice lines that I'm starting to get by going with that chalk paint in one direction over that lighter color. So I do one section in one direction completely, and then I go on to dry brushing with the paint in the opposite direction. That is gonna give you that cross hatch pattern that always looks so pretty on furniture or decor. So the key to this technique is really to just apply that paint with that chippy paintbrush very lightly. So you're just dusting it sort of across the surface of whatever you're painting. And if you'll notice, I'm dipping my paintbrush into just a tiny bit of paint that's in the lid of that chalk paint container. So again, just very light amount of paint, very light touch that you do to get this look. So if you're nervous, you can practice this painting technique on a piece of paper, construction paper, cardboard, something like that. But you don't have to worry about making mistakes because you can always cross hatch back over a mistake area that you think you've made, an area that you think is too light or too dark with the other paint color to sort of go back and forth until you get the look that you like. Once I finish the cross hatch across the entire picture frame that I'm painting here, I moved on to adding one of my accent colors. So I'm only using one accent color on this piece, but you could use one or two. I used a chip paintbrush again, a chippy paintbrush with just a touch of that gold so that I could dry brush a cross hatch pattern again over the entire surface of this picture frame. You could do this on furniture though and home decor too. So anything that you're painting with this cross hatch pattern. Same exact technique with this accent color. Now here's a quick look at what my piece looked like after I applied that cross hatch pattern with the accent color. You can see that I'm already getting great texture in this cross hatch pattern here with the chalk paint. After you've applied your accent color or colors, you wanna go back over it with the two main colors. I started by covering up that accent color with my darker paint color in the cross hatch pattern again. Remember light layers, light amount of paint. Then after I'd finished the entire piece with that darker chalk paint color, I went over again with the lighter chalk paint color. So I like to finish any of these pieces with the lighter chalk paint color on top because I feel like it pops off the darker color better and it looks just really pretty. Once you've completely finished applying that cross hatch paint pattern, it is time to let that chalk paint dry. After that chalk paint has dried for a few hours, I like to go over it with a brown paper bag. So a brown paper bag is sort of like a super high grit sandpaper. It's a very light touch sandpaper. Just lightly rub it across the entire surface and it's gonna sort of give that cross hatch pattern a smooth feel without getting rid of all of the texture. So don't use sandpaper unless it's like a 3000 grit sandpaper. Use a brown paper bag for this part. After using that brown paper bag on the entire surface, you'll wanna clean off any dust residue that might be on there with a very lightly damp cloth. Let that again dry, and then you'll apply a polycrylic or a water-based poly over the entire surface of your painted piece. For that water-based poly, you are gonna to need to use a high quality nylon paintbrush again because you want that to be applied in a nice, thin, even layer across the entire crosshatch pattern. That's it guys, that's how to get a beautiful crosshatch paint pattern on your furniture or your home decor using chalk paint, 
I love this look. I love it on furniture. I love it on picture frames. I love it on mirror frames and vases. So give it a try, see if you like it. And if you don't, you can always remove it with a paint stripper. Good luck with your project guys and be sure to ask me any questions you'd like in the comments below and check out the description for links to more of my furniture painting videos.